John twenty twenty nine Lege alto ha Jesus Hati he orakas me pepistukas Makarioi hoi me idantes kai pistusantes Right before this Thomas has proclaimed, exclaimed to Jesus, said to him, addressed him as my Lord and my God. And in response, we read, Jesus said to him, notice that narrative or historical present there. This is what Jesus said. And you'll note that I'm judging from the context, this statement is better taken as that, a statement rather than a question. Some English translations translate this as a question here and some take it as a statement. You you can look at the context and see what you think. Jesus says, Because you have seen me, notice that is a perfect of hara'o, hara'o to see, we can see the kappa alpha there, and the kappa is usually the sign of 24K, perfect, perfect gold, sign of the perfect tense. This is perfect active indicative. Jesus is speaking to Thomas, it's second person singular. Because you have seen me, there's your accusative direct object, you have believed. In other words, uh, we might say another translation, because you have seen me, have you believed? He's, he's asking him the question now, but I think a statement fits better here. And then we have a implied you know, to be verb here in the next section. We, have, we start, front load the predicate adjective here. Blessed are those, and then this hoi, the article, the nominative plural article there is governing both participles. The first participle is negated with may. And so Jesus said, Blessed are those who did not see, right, who have not seen, and yet have come to believe. Um, I think Murray Harris is right in that this first participle here probably has a little bit of a gnomic sense to it, right? Blessed are those who don't, who don't see, who don't have the chance to see the resurrected Lord with their own eyes. And then there's probably a little bit of an aggressive sense to the second one, just looking at the context. Stative verbs, verbs that refer to an ongoing state like belief, their aorist forms, depending on the context, can often have an ingressive sense, a beginning sense, and that seems to perhaps be the idea here. So, blessed are those who do not see, have not had a chance to see, and yet have come to believe, come to believe that Jesus is Lord and God.